All right, so I'm up here at my grandparents' house and apparently now I'm like an actual like Linux content creator um, or video maker. Luke Smith put out a video, uh, pretty sure it was a long time ago, but talking about how he hates the words content creator. And then he immediately afterwards stated that like he hates it when people put arbitrary terms or like arbitrary restrictions on words. Like, isn't that what you just did? And then he proceeded to explain why it was, in this case, different. But anyway, if you make videos, you're, you're making content, so you are a content creator. But anyway, everyone who makes Linux videos, you know, makes videos of them just walking out about, um, not at a computer, half the time not even talking about Linux stuff. So, you know, I'm, I'm a real content creator now. But... I'm making this video because, well, for one, I'm up, my, up at my grandparents' house and didn't bring a computer or my laptop with me, so don't really have any of the stuff I would normally record with, so yeah, but I just started thinking, so I don't know about any of you, whether or not you have this same sort of like conundrum or like problem, I guess, it's not necessarily a problem, but... I, I have this thing where I always want to, you know, switch to Gentoo, start using Gentoo. The problem I have with Gentoo and many other source-based distros is I love the idea behind them. Everything is like the customizability of it is just is so in-depth. I, I like it being exactly tailored to what I want, what I need. And I also like the idea of compiling everything from source because it, you know, it, it's just doesn't have any of the stuff that I don't need in any of my programs. The problem with it is, is I've come to find in all reality, Arch just has the customization that I need and nothing more. Gentoo provides so much customiz customization and the fact of it being everything has to be compiled from source, I just, I don't, in, in, in reality, I don't like it as much as I like the idea of it, if you get what I'm saying. Like, when you go in and start using Gentoo, you're, you're going to start compiling stuff like Xorg and browsers, and it's not even just that the compile times for stuff like, I mean, the QT WebKit, WebKit engine or whatever, that's gonna take you forever to compile. Q, um, even uh, Firefox, like Firefox, if you're a Firefox user, yeah, compiling Firefox is probably fast if you have a thread wrapper. If you've got anything normal, if you've got like an i3, God bless you uh, for having the patience to deal with that, but, I just, I like the idea of Gentoo way more than I like it in reality. And it, it, it honestly sucks because last night I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead, install Gentoo, go through it um, because I really want to use it. And I know the main thing that stops me, me from doing it is just the amount of time and effort that goes into getting a Gentoo install from scratch all the way up until exactly how you like it um, without using like, you know, scripts or uh, not, you know, just doing a proper Gentoo setup, getting it properly set up and ready to go for me takes a long time. So I was like, all right, whatever. I don't have anything to do. I'll just go ahead and do it. And about four hours into this process, I ran into some issue. I think it was something to do with XORG when I was compiling it, something like that. I came up with some issue and it was going to, it was, I had spent probably 15 minutes trying to solve the issue and it just hit me. Like, I don't know that I'm actually getting any added benefits from switching over to Gentoo. I just, I really don't know that I am. So I'm like, in the time that it could spend me to finish fixing this and get on to installing 
DWM and, you know, getting like, I mean, I would, I'm going to have to compile OBS from source, like all this stuff. And I do want to make videos. So like, I want to get on with, with what I'm doing. I don't want to spend days getting a system installed, set up and ready to use. And that's, that's, that's my problem with Gentoo. That's just, that just is the problem I have. And I don't, I don't see Gentoo getting um, any better, like than Arch in perform in terms of like usability. I don't see Gentoo getting, you know, me getting more out of Gentoo than I'm already getting out of Arch. I just I I, I don't see it. Um, yeah. So now this video is not me like crapping on Gentoo. I. I really, really like Gentoo. It's just, for me, in all reality and practicality, it's just, it's, it's not the distro or, you know, option that I need to go with. It's just, it's not. And I'm really just making this video to see, are you that way? Do you have, like, a problem using Gentoo, um, at, like, as, an act as your actual daily driver? Do you, are you like me where you want to use it as a daily driver, would like to be able to use it as a daily driver and just can't, you know, it's just, it just doesn't work out that way. So let me know. Um, if you like the video, this is a very different video, but I put out videos pretty frequent, pretty freaking frequently. That was, that was a tongue twister, but yeah, hit the like button, hit subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.